let's uh, check out a bit of our data we've gathered while we wait for it to go today. Actually, let me, if I get outside, I should be able to see when it turns today. Let's see what we got. Let's see, the coral shell plate. This variant of coral has adapted to survive in close proximity to other corals, filtering nutrients from the water and sharing them via a spore-like substance which grows around the base. The giant coral tubes. The variety of coral formations on 4546B appear to be different solutions to the same problem of maximizing water and nutrient flow throughout the colony. These particular variants funnel water down the tube, filtering nutrients as they pass. Their size suggests they have been highly successful. Ooh, they are rich in calcium. Ooh, so we can like grind them up for a milk substitute, right? Table core. Each disc is an individual colony of microorganisms, filtering nutrients from the water. Growth patterns indicate the colonies are in direct competition for positions with superior current or light. Unlike other coral species, its structure is malleable, softly pulsating as it pumps nutrients to its extremities, only turning rigid when it senses physical assault. The jewel-like nodes on the surface are concentrated buildups of rare minerals the coral is unable to process. Wait. I've scanned a table coral, but I didn't pick it off. Ah, slag me. Where did I see it? Probably at that cave. Hey, I see something on the surface over there. Is that going to be titanium? Or is it rocks? Rocks. <gasps> Is this... Ah, oh, it's Metal Salvage. For some reason, I thought that was going to be, um... The other... Uh... Calcium. Do you know other uses for calcium? I just know it as an anti-acid, so I assume it can be used as a base in some mixtures. Is this the way? Yes. I think this is the way to the cave. Yeah. Should be this way. This doesn't look right, though. Maybe? Give me the cargo. In this case, do you think it involves sulfur? Hmm. The only sulfur one that comes to mind is, you know, the usual gunpowder. That's uh, sulfur and saltpeter. Hmm. Random quartz. Okay, dude. I prefer silver. We need a lot of silver. Survey says... Copper. Maybe I don't use my gun to break things. Wrecky. All sulfur in some form of carbon. Huh. That rings a bell. What is that? Is that a jellyfish? I'm gonna scan the shit out of you. is like, oh, I'm trying to scan! It's so big! Look at the little worms! They're just little jiggly, jiggly little guys. Tiger plant? Can 
Can I grab it? Do I need to harvest it? No, it just injures me. Noted. Do not fuck with the tiger plant. Deadly. If it wiggles, it's deadly. Wait, that was a barnacle of copper? That, a what? Use calcium nitrate to make a test. Oh, I see. All right. Pick it up with your foot down now. Rogue Cradle. Interesting. Is this some kind of coral? Fascinating. All right. Go on, mighty beast. It kind of makes me think of the um, giraffe bots in Horizon Zero Dawn. The uh, the ones you had to climb to expand your map area because it has like the giant circular disc at the top. And they just kind of walk around. in the VR game. Seek fluid intake. Wait, there's a uh, Zero Dawn VR? Or are you saying there's like a uh, um, like a VR chat map someone made of Horizon Zero Dawn you can climb around? Is that lead? Somehow I had two lead before I have any more Alright, so we can already make the radiation suit, but I guess fuck us on the rebreather or the compass. I also probably should have pinned the recipe for the emergency surfacing bladder. Because I feel like that would be smart to have. Just to be able to surface much faster. My 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 swimming up is not what I would call the fastest. Horizon Zero Dawn VR game called Call of the Mountain. Interesting. I've been slowly trying to get my VR legs again. But I haven't really looked for new VR games. Shiny gold. Them's be gold on the walls. We're rich. All right, fish. I'll pay you one gold. Don't leave me alone. All right, that was a nice thing of silver. Need a couple more. I don't know why I'm surfacing to just to drink water, but... Vital signs stabilizing. All right, so we got all that. Uh, we're good on. We're fine on food. We just need a couple more silver. Ideally, I would like a lot more silver because if silver is going to be our pinch point for electronics. And I know I'm going to want some electronics. Ow! We also need that brain coral. I don't know where I saw it. The fact that I scanned it means I saw it somewhere. I just wasn't bloody well paying attention. Damn. What could be in here? 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency increased. Grand Gov profile. Integrating new PDA data. Integrating new PDA data. Interesting. Preparing the day's water ration ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death. I don't know. I kind of thought 
thought the uh, my own eventual death would be, you know, kind of kind of fun. I guess. Actually, let's surface real quick. Hey, Reef dude. There's probably a lot of stuff to scan in there. Oh, and there's that reef shark just wigging out. It doesn't really look like a shark to me. It looks more like a bug. Oxygen. But I guess uh, reef bug ain't the same thing. Sort of like if an isopod was longer and could uh, swim. Can isopods swim? I don't know, actually. All the isopods I know of, even the uh, the underwater ones, um, just crawl around on the ground. Uh, I certainly, while I like isopods, little roly polies, you know, at normal human size, the deep sea ones are um, too big. Let's uh, let's not have those. I don't know why it keeps giving me like one out of whatever. New blueprint added. Yes. Oh, let's get a swivel chair too. Do not like things in the water that can crawl. Yeah, especially if they crawl on you, and then it's like, yikes. Uh, too many legs, man. Too many legs. Alright, so I guess that's all we can scan out of there. Kind of weird that it's making us find multiples of things just to unlock it. Like with that metal push cart thing. Like one out of three. Like, mm. Oh, there's two reef. Two reef dudes. Three? Three Reef Dudes? Man, there's a lot of Reef Dudes. Alright. Um, I would like to get... How much silver do we have? Well, we can make the Rebreather. I think, I think let's go ahead and go back. We'll make the Radiation Suit and the Rebreather. We can get the Compass next time we go out for resources. Wait, why are the floaters floating? Did their rock go over the uh, explodey vent? I think it did. Oh. way into this. Come on, let me in. I just want to scan you. I just want to scan you. Shucks. I got the blueprint um, from from Life Pod Three, but it. I don't believe it gave me one carte blanche. Let's see. Um, just cook some food real quick. Uh, not the bladder fish. disguising the flavor of unsavory meat with salt or locally sourced herbs and spices. Okay, but what herbs and spices can I even eat? Oh, disinfected water gives us plus 30. Interesting. Noted. Um, I forgot I need to harvest a bunch of the kelp. Go ahead and do that. We can make some fibers, baby. Wait, my inventory is full. Fuck off!
Okay. Get stuff out of my inventory first. Uh, I just dump it inside my life pod? No, I can't. I guess that would be cheating if instead of storage units, you could just drop everything on the ground. <laughs> um... And I guess turning all that stuff into glass will be one way to condense our inventory. It'd be really awkward if I need the silicone for something else, but we will burn that bridge when we find it. Get in my inventory. God dang. Alright, we'll just drink another water so I can have two. And then we go in here. And then we make some dang bloody fiber mesh. I need two samples per. So I need to free up space. All right. Need to uh, dump some stuff in my other storage. Put the titanium in it. Good. Get another couple vines. Need a bigger backpack for sure. Where's that upgrade? I've gotten all sorts of stuff for more oxygen, faster swimming, but where's the like quantum protagonist pocket, all right? That's the real advancement we're missing. Well, with the radiation suit, we can get closer to the Aurora, so I guess we can go that way and see what's up. Let's unpin that. Just so I remember. Um, I could make wires. How much wiring do I need? Oh wait, that's right, we can make the rebreather. Duh, Drecky. Silly goose. Just need to get another two fibers. Good thing so many things are bioluminescent. Also a good thing we have such a... Such a good and close resource for our plants. That we can make it do fabric. Alright, our oxygen is getting pretty darn good, baby. Uh, we can unpin that. Bada bing, bada boom. Good stuff, good stuff. Get our daily med kit and use it because I am. Up. Oh, we can either have the radiation. I see. Let's. If I turn these into titanium and just drop them on the ground, will they be fine? That's the question I wish to answer. Um, we can also start heading towards the ship now, see what happens. Mm -hmm. 
Just drop a bunch of rocks. I'm sure they'll be fine. I bet I'm gonna get close to the ship and then it's gonna be like, your suit is only rated for X number of rads. You need to get a steel lead composite diving suit. The uh, ocean is getting pretty weirdly green. I scan myself, please respond. I had to enter from the core because that was the place that exploded. Ooh. Engine fragment? Interesting. Infected with local foreign bacteria. Oh no, I'm transforming into one of them. A fish! <laughs> Alright, we're running into an invisible barrier, so that's not the way to go. Noted. Uh, unfortunately, this thing is quite large. Yeah, I think I think it's gonna want I think it wants me to go to the front where the explosion was. game bugged. They like glitched into the ship. Alright. We're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Because it didn't happen. You know what? I should probably save as well. What are you? Ooh. All right, another bit of a Cyclops. Just need one more. We can have the Supra, I think? Proceeds to save next to the big fish. Would not be the first time I've saved while in a very dangerous predicament. Solid. Big fish does not exist, and I do not perceive it. Yeah, it's part of the it's part of the the quantum the quantum explosion. It, it's a quantum fish. You know, if you look at it and then you look away, it stops existing. Hey, I think we got the Cyclops engine unlocked. Hell yeah. New blueprint acquired. Go us. Look at this tomb! People like to challenge themselves to scan the big fish. Mm, that seems a bit dangerous. He seems, uh... He's like a friendly character. Just wants to, uh... Show you the local cuisine by, by biting you and biting you and biting you. That 
me scan you! Come on! There we go! Feisty little fella. <laughs> All right, round one. Here we have the vacation beachgoer crash landed on the beat on the ocean planet. Four five four B six. In the other corner, we have this giant sand shark we managed to wrangle into the room. Two creatures enter. Only one survives. I feel like even on land, that shark would fuck me up. Like, I feel like it could just flail around and just eviscerate me. Alligator tactics. Yeah, exactly. What is this? Oh, that's like a whole ass titanium deposit. Hiya! Alright, that didn't work. So Vietnautica, fish catch you. Da, comrade. Oh, I saw a rock. It's just copper. Um. I mean, let's drink the water and replace it with a new one. Salt, don't care about salt. Right. Life form readings in this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. Alright, so if I don't do something in, in the next day. Actually, this place is very fast day-night cycles. Why is everything shaking? The ship's still resettling after crashing or exploding. Uh, let me in. Let me in! I'm sure it's Fine. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Uh, uh, uh. Maybe it doesn't see me. Swim, Brecky. Swim. Flee, you fool. Uh, uh. Don't care about quartz. Alright, um, I kind of want to save, but I don't want to save, I don't want to put myself in too bad of a position. You got unlucky, it's usually not this close. I am really good at having, oh, oh, I see that. Just keep swimming, Drake. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Clip into the ship. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Alright, we're in the ship. But I think we're safe now. And I think we can get to the surface while in here. I don't know how much this helps us, but maybe there's things to scan. No? Uh, 
Um, Alright, maybe scanning is not the thing to do. Maybe not here. Maybe we have to swim deeper into the ship? Hard to find a place to go deeper. You're all turned around 100% what about this the weird way. <laughs> well, after I glitched into the ship, I mean, I figured like, hey, exploded from this side, there's probably a way to go in. Yeah, I'm, at, I'm, I'm where the explosion was. Hmm. All right, I need to get more oxygen. Maybe I need to go over the wall and see if there's like an open bulkhead. It looks like there's like four levels to the deck. Warning, ship structural integrity is low. Fire suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Exploration is conducted at your own risk. Alright, I have the fire suppression. Laser cutter, not so much. here. Do I... is this it? Can I just swim through here? Nope, that blocks me off. Whee! Whee! And I spin, 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 and I spin, spin, spin! Stretch. Okay. Ugh. Am I good at unintentional parkour? Sounds like we need to get outside the level. In which case, I am perfectly fine with that. Uh, why can't I go up anymore? I need oxygen. Uh, game? Game? Stop putting invisible walls in places I can traverse! Alright. I could use a little nudge, because I'm not I'm, I'm I'm not picking up what they're putting down where they want me to go here. All the all the ways that look obvious to me are actually just blocked by invisible walls. I'm not supposed to be here. Well, that's just terrible game design. And we are worms. You really not expect us to slither our way in? Exactly! Most of it is above water? Oh. I shouldn't even be inside this portion. Got it. I'm actually lost. Hmm. Guess you slid it underneath an invisible wall. It seems like that's what happened. All right, so let me get the fuck out, and then we will go up again. If I can remember the way out. Like over. So further to the left? Like over in this section? Yeah, I did get turned. Yeah. 
Uh, it's about to be night time too. Uh, I, I, I wanna... Uh, how do I... Do I have to quit? Yeah, I guess I have to quit to reload. Alright, so... Let's... Reset... All right. Ah, okay. I just need to remember to hit the other Cyclops. And I'll save after I hit the Cyclops. I don't forget that again. That was kind of important. Well, shit. Cool, power cell. Um, there it is. There's the other Cyclops engine. Alright, so let's save now that we have the Cyclops. New blueprint acquired. That was like the bit of progress I really want to make sure I don't lose. I know uh, something that will help us move faster would be nice. F8 to report bugs and give feedback. Maybe some other time. You didn't build your invisible walls well enough to stop this worm, buddy. I snaked my way on in. Keep on swimming through the ocean. Don't lose your way with your side. Don't get lost in the ocean. Do not perceive the quantum shark. If you don't see it, it can't see you. The ideal form for wiggling through water. Yeah, yeah, it's perfectly aero and hydrodynamic. This region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if uh, not contained within the next 24 hours. I go up this bulkhead. Huh? Warning, Quab. ship's structural integrity Quab. is low. Fire suppression equipment and laser oh, powers fuck. may be required. Exploration Crab is dangerous. conducted at your own risk. Ah, fuck! I didn't survive Ravenholm just get got by these crabs! Some kind of cave demon! Dodge! Where's my roll button? Caution. Scans show the digestive tracts of nearby life forms contain human tissues. Well, they are scavengers. I mean, it's not like the people are alive anymore. Okay. Now we need to do... Ah! Rip dead dudes. Oof. The cycle of life. At least they don't do a lot of damage. Uh, backup fire extinguisher. 
right. Cargo Bay 3, administration. Aurora systems are running on local reserve power. Unable to remotely download black box data. Okay, okay. Can't get black box data. That is not good. I would like the black box data. Propulsion cannon? Interesting. Alright. We'll deal with that later. What did they give you? The land cruiser. They see a ship and go, let me just swim 35 miles to get on a ship that's about to blow up. You know, we don't really know how this uh, planet works. Maybe they just start existing whenever land is there, huh? How about that? Oops. Integrating new PDA data. Prawn suit Mark III. Rising above the competition. Integrating new PDA data. Alright. Huh? Guessing we only have so much amount of time. I do want to grab any batteries I can because batteries require a good bit of resources. Trash can synthesize. Okay, so we got in here. The buster in your home. I figured as much. Um. Can I even get through there if I turn? I don't think I can. But maybe I can at least put it out enough that I can crawl over. I'm gonna jump down there. <gasps> Fuck! That killed me so fast. I should have saved. Why didn't I save right before doing that? You died and lost some belongings. Oh, so it doesn't... Wait, then what did I lose? Alright, was there more... Was there more stuff for me to get at the ship? Like, I... Because I thought I could drop down on those stacked boxes and get into another area. Tons more. Um... Uh, mm. I mean, I have an extra fire extinguisher. I had an extra fire extinguisher. Well, fuck. Oh, it would only cost titanium? Well, shit, I'll just make a bunch of fire extinguishers. I'll make one fire extinguisher. Um, 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 um. It's so much fucking water. Uh, actually, let's get rid of this quartz and put the uh, copper in there. We'll put the power cell in our other stuff. Hmm. Paying your waters a visit. <laughs> You wear the mask you're wearing it already. Uh, so I noticed that the rebreather is incompatible with the radiation helmet. It's one or the other, it seems like. Which is weird, because I thought it specifically said that the radiation suit was made, but maybe it's just the suit part. 
So I can't use our fancy schmancy rebreather for uh, extending our oxygen. Okay, um... I need food. I meant to cook those. We have plenty of water, so we'll just cook these bladder fish. And we consume, consume. They are not very satiating. And... Actually, I forgot to check our blueprints real quick. Um, so let me see if I got space to put lead in here. Um, what was it for the Cyclops engine blueprint? What? Wait, no, I saved specifically after... I think I need to reload, actually. Because I scanned everything to unlock the Cyclops, but now it's saying one out of three. I think I need to reload. But welcome on by, Purple Scales. A lot of people with purple names now. <laughs> See if I got a blueprints now. Wait, what? But I scanned all three of the fucking. What? I'm so confused. I scanned. Uh, all right, game. Okay, game. Whatever. I don't know what's going on here, but I don't like it. Third time's the charm in looting this ship. You found out how to make the engine for it. So I scanned three different things just to know how to make one piece of the whole thing. Great, fantastic. Love that for me. Well, for one dragon to another, it's always a choice. <laughs> Aww. I bet you say that's all the, the, the feathered worms. <laughs> that's certainly a bit different. Uh, I can't say I play. I played a lot of... I think this is like the first sort of builder game I've streamed, to be honest. I don't really play a lot of those kinds of games. Like, Minecraft really isn't my vibe. Um, I would rather play Dwarf Fortress or Terraria, depending on what I was in the mood for, but... I'm still thinking of other games to slot on Fridays, because like before I was doing horror games on Fridays, um, I was trying to do sort of thought-provoking games, you know, stuff that uh, gets you thinking, that are fun to talk about. Uh, so I played like things like Stop Talos Principle. Um, we did the, the Neuronet Mendax Proxy, um, I think it was like Soma, I played Soma, and that was like a nice bridge going from a thinky game into horror games. Will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. I need to perhaps look around for some other good ones. The only one Warning. in this sea. <laughs> Ship structural integrity is low. Fire suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Exploration oh. Oh. is conducted oh. at your own Jukum. risk. Jukum. Uh, there was that one container that had a fire extinguisher, so we can have two. Cool. 
caution. Scans show the digestive tracts of nearby life forms I think contain I it. human tissues. Human tissues? But what if I have to go to the bathroom? <laughs> Sale! <laughs> that crab was like, you know what? Nah, you're way too ugly for me to eat. I'm out of here. Oh, a monster! <laughs> There's one on the floor you missed last time as well. Ah. Uh. Bloody fire. Yeah. Dude. Dude. Killing me, smalls. Literally. All right. Stuff, get all the downloads. New PDA data. Integrating new PDA data. Need to scan the trash can. New blueprint. Well, from the humans we've spoken to, you call that feeling froggy. <laughs> They're not wrong. Cargo bay. Right, there's that PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Aurora systems are running on local reserve power. Unable to Batteries. remotely download black box data. Huh? I feel like I can make that jump. Or I can just crawl over here? Huh? Like, how do I. Can I even crouch? That is the walk forward button noted. Huh? You died. Oh no, Pokemon. Huh? Well, I hope you got better. Huh? Nope. Huh? Huh? There we go. Uh scans of damage to the Aurora do not match any known offensive technologies. Well, that's ominous. Well, shice. Alright, let's check those data logs. Maybe one of them will have the thing we need. Codes and clues, note to self. Well, here we are, finally, in open space. We cross the galaxy to install a phase gate. Send ships to mine resources, build more expensive ships. Install fancier phase gates. We're trying to exhaust the galaxy, just ourselves. Right, so, 1454. That's a good sign. Hey, nutrient block. Might need that. Hmm. We'll talk about you come chill out in the hour meeting. Aw, I really appreciate that. How'd you find it, uh, Roxy Space? <gasps> I try to stay and be positive. I know it can be real easy to be very negative and antagonistic on things, and it's not really what I want to do. Um, I feel like if I put out positivity, then it can beget more positivity. I'm supposed to hear that, maybe it's working. 
Do you recommend coming back here after you fix it to grab stuff? Integrating new PDA data. I like grabbing absolutely everything, so it's hard to make room in my inventory. Alright, so that looks like a problem. Ate some peanut butter waffles and your mouth stuck together. That's some fucking chat voice text. Penis butter waffles. Okay, man. You gotta watch out for that peanut butter. Power cell versus a battery. I wonder if the power cell is like those ones that do our solar power. Battery is maybe for smaller devices. Alright, so that will fuck us up. Maybe we go further down? Doesn't seem like we can open the cargo bay. So if we go down here... Drive Seamoth Bay. The drive portion of the sustained internal damage during collision. Do not attempt repair without appropriate qualifications. Oh, I'm qualified. I learned from the school of bucket. Drop the empty one. Alright. I knew this! You just mash some buttons, right? Warning, local radiation. At maximum tolerable level. Where is it? Cyclops efficiency module. Recycles heat byproducts to increase engine efficiency. All right, let's not let that just roll away. Hmm. No signal, check data cable. All right, I guess we're going for a swim. I'm trying to use the ladder, buddy. Maybe there's a floor right there and I can't go in. Leader? Oh no! Leeches! Come on! How do I fucking... There. Fuck you, dude! Fuck you, dude! Yeah! How's that feel? Yep. You guys hold the entire history of the universe in 230 or so? Oh, jeez. Crazy how they were able to condense it down like that. Hmm. I don't think the spicy stuff is supposed to be leaking like that. Alright, what does this thing over here say? Oh, thank you for the head pats. <gasps> no! No! Blood and ashes. No signal, check the data cable. Um... What data cable, dude? Yeah, voice sex murder you. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> Go away. Alright, it says check data cable. I don't know what the hell it means, check the data cable. There is no cable. <laughs> Go away. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not really seeing anything to interact with after we took that, uh, engine efficiency module. Hmm. I 
climb out via the ladder? I guess I can. Okay, what if I put the engine efficiency module... Can I put it... No. Can't take it out. Hmm. Not really a lot to do then. Fuck me, is it the fucking repair tool? Gods damn it! I completely forgot I had the repair tool. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Ah. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. I feel like if I ever Twitch streamers, it'd be the first game I choose gaming. I'm Sea Dragon after all. Nice. What do the dragons see? Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. You could also maybe do Soma. That was certainly a good game. Uh, definitely a horror game, though. That would, uh, get some people. You gotta seal in all the magic pixie dust. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Fuck off! Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. So I'm wondering, because this said we had 24 hours. If you don't seal this up, will the whole shit basically Containment breach repaired. be destroyed? Breaches detected. And then, like, it's gone? Or will it, like, give you a game over? Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Calorie intake recommended. I don't want to eat, Ma. Can I climb out? Nope. Uh, I think the other two are outside on the other. Basically, a bunch of fish get infected with radiation. Oh, do they mutate into like super fish and you have to. They fuck you up? But wait, wouldn't that mean they get new entries on the lore? Hmm. Maybe we have to let them get infected. For science. And 100% achievements. Alright. I'm gonna heal myself and eat. Vital science stabilizing. They get green spots like you saw in your first hand chart. I see. Your King Horror Game recommend Martha's Dead. The sensors version, if you're alright with sensors. Ah. Uh, gotta head to bed. No problem, Phantom Knight. Thanks for stopping on by. I hope you have a rejuvenating eve. Oh, so like. Contain the radiation the just keeps prepared. spreading. So I thought after 24 detected. hours. It was basically like the entire thing just double explodes. All right, we're down to one breach left. Hmm. And I can't eh, find it. All right, I don't think it's on any of the underwater portions. It's gotta be outside. Come on, Drecky. I'm not seeing it. There it is. Hiding in there right between two little folds. Extinction event avoided. Alright, that's a nice achievement. Drive core breach sealed. Radiation levels decreasing. All right, now the question is, what do I do with this Cyclops engine efficiency module? 
Oh well. All right. I think we got a new radio message. Um, I might be able to grab a couple things on our way back, but let's head back to our ship. We've got so many batteries. I need something to use them on. This is probably the things where it's like, oh. Open the door. Interesting. Seamoth Depth Module Mark 1. Alright. That's... a thing. Fixing the aura is 100% optional. It just makes the game harder if the radiation gets far out. I see. We have scanned the sea moth. No, I'm one fragment short. No, don't do this to me. Integrating new PDA data. Ah, oh, you gave me two out of three. Damn you, game. Alright, check it out. We have to go up here. Gotta find the last one out and about in the world. Uh, yay. Ugh. Exploration game making me explore? Ugh. How dare it! <laughs> My question is, will those fires eventually burn out? I think the answer is no. No, I don't think they will. I'll make this easier for future me. Uh, let's also save. Stay away. Leave me alone. All right. I think I'm stuck. Ow. Ow. My question is, does it rain on this world? That's a very, that's a very dangerous thing. Boom. All right, now we dive. <laughs> Let me just break my legs first. All right, now we dive. That'll, that'll go in the blooper reel. <laughs> there has been a surprisingly little amount of rain for a world supposedly covered in water. You know, with all these close planets, it kind of makes me think of Outer Wilds, you know, but, you know, if we had, like, a little bit less silly physics. Maybe, maybe, maybe one of these fish will evolve into the, uh, Harfians. Eh? Eh? You never know. That was one of the sharks. The sand sharks are absolutely silly. They just kind of all, all over the place. <laughs> you realize the two games come from the same dev? I did not, actually. <laughs> I think they tried to add weather to the first game, but it caused too many issues. It was the studio's first game after all. I mean, I would say they do really good physics work. Like, even if, even in though Outer Wilds is a bit silly on the physics, uh, things interact pretty darn well. I'm not surprised 
Like, underwater and outer space have a lot of similarities. I think the only major resource we're missing is that fucking brain uh, coral for making computer chips. I need to stop trying to go down for resources. We are stuck. We are full of chocolate. All right. And we just keep on swimming in the deep blue ocean. It would be very pretty, except we're trapped with no hope of rescue. Down here in the deep blue sea. There's some of the things they wanted to add, some really cool stuff in alpha builds. That's always the push and pull with any creation. Because you can never have everything you want in it. Sometimes it's for design reasons. Sometimes it's for time crunch. But you do gotta cut things down at some point. I better be able to find one of those mantas, the rabbit, rabbit mantids, eggs. Cause I need one of those in my aquarium. Damn it! All right, we have a radio message. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there: "There's no bad without the good." No good without the bad. That's a terrible way to Sounds start this like message. like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're it. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Alright, so they haven't crashed yet. The guy did not give me much confidence when he hot mic'd. Alright. Um, what are we doing? What are we doing? Checking out our stuff. Well, okay. Propulsion cannon? Ingredients unknown. Laser cutter. Ingredients unknown. Well, I would like to build a habitat, I guess. The habitat seems like the best item for us to aim for next. But really we need silver ore and that coral sample. Those are our two biggest limitations now. Um, I hear a meth. I thought I heard a beeping. Hmm. Well, I might as well as make another floating fucking thing about Bob and the Jigger because our inventory is stuffed and I don't want to throw any of it away. We can swap to the better O2 breather. Um, we will unleash this and unleash this. 
All right, let's put our copper and gold and this and our post. Uh, we'll keep our poster and this and that. Um, and the glass. All right, so all that's in this one. This one can have our electronics. And right, that's good. Go ahead and top myself off on health. Top myself up on water. Let's put our. I, I kind of want to put our radiation helmet in our serious locker. We're gonna go over to this one, and we'll pull out some of the material. Put the helmet in there. And let's also put this poster in there. What is that beeping? Oh, it's the medical kit being full. Thanks, medical kit. Oop. I built the games in Unity. Yeah, Unity. Even though they backtracked, slag them. It's fine. They're not made by the same devs. It's just kind of surprising. I know for the longest time I kept mixing up Outer Wilds and Outer Worlds because I believe they released on like a very close time frame. It was really hard for me to not mix those two up. Alright. I do need a bit of quick food, because I want to make myself 100. Let's grab some peepers. Jeepers! Peepers! Alright, fine! Swim away from me! Jeez, it's almost like it doesn't want to get eaten. It's so weird. Alright, that should be good on food. Uh, how's our self-scan going, buddy? Self-scan complete. Foreign bacteria count has reached statistically significant levels. No adverse effects detected. Be vigilant for symptoms. Look, if the symptoms is we get bioluminescent, then, you know, I would say that's pretty worth it. I'd like to glow in the dark, you know? Be kind of cool. Alright, so let's munch, munch, munch. Let me get our water back up. Then we save. And... I think this is a good milestone to stop for tonight. Because uh, I... Bit of a shorter stream today, but I do need to be up pretty early tomorrow. Kodas, would you like to buy some bioluminescent squirrels? I mean, they'd be pretty cool to watch run around. 